I've just been getting up and telling you about the next act, but I think oh, I'm going to do my own act. Woo! If you don't mind, Kelly. <laughs> All right. Now, I've been to acting school recently. <laughs> Learning about me and human. I got a costume for it. Oh, so there's one more act before the break. We're going to take a little intermission after the next act. That's not including the act that I'm about to do right now. <laughs> I'm going to do my act. <coughs> and Caleb's going to get up, sing a couple songs, have intermission, do an auction, do some more acts. Yeah. One more button. <laughs> All right, now check this out. It's a main humor story. <laughs> it's about my grandfather. He lives up north, and you just ask him about the weather. That's awesome. You ask him, "Any you have any frost up to your place? And he says, <laughs> frost, you say? <laughs> What I did is I got up in the morning. I slept in a little bit, got up about 5.45. And I started going down the stairs. Now, you see, I don't get them steep stairs. Like they got in some houses where you trip and break your goddamn neck going down the stairs. No, I got a nice easy set of stairs. A nice eight inch tread and only a two inch right. <laughs> you just cruise right down them stairs. And at the bottom of them stairs, I tell you, I got a nice old dual post. Cherry ash. And I tell you, when you're coming down the stairs, in the alley money and just come in the light coming through the window, and it just goes off the corner of that curly ash, I tell you. Just makes you proud to be in the United States. <laughs> But as I was saying, I got up and I went down the stairs, and then I got into my, my sitting room. Now in that sitting room, I got this nice cherry wood trophy. And I like to sit on that trophy sometimes, you know, almost up to 9 o'clock at night. Don't even not notice the clock. You know, and just listen to the radio and, and reading, reading the magazines, you know, and that's what I like like to do at night. But you see, I'm, this was this morning when I was just going through the sitting room. And I got a nice, nice wide pine floor. Not none of that crappy linoleum stuff you got in them modern houses, no sir. A nice thick tongue and groove, you know, that heart. A good half inch into that groove. It's not going anyway. You have to go in that room just to get into the dining room, you see. And when you when you get into the dining room, I got I got the wainscoting in that room. And it's a walnut wainscoting. And I tell you, it gives you a nice appetite just looking at that wainscoting. But you gotta go through that room just to get to the kitchen. So I was going through the kitchen, and I got a nice old pot belly stove in that kitchen. Now, I don't know what kind of stove you use to heat your house, but this right here, I tell you, you just put a, just two quarter, quarter pieces of, of wood in there, and you just, you just clamp it down, and I'll tell you about in the early morning, you got a nice hot bed of coal just to start it right up. So, I did, you know, I just put a couple couple of pieces in there and just started it right back up. And I was, see, I was going through the kitchen, as I was saying, and <laughs> went into the dooryard, and the dog was spending the night out there. Now, the dog I got, that's a reliable dog. <laughs> I trained that dog since it was a little pup. And it can smell you and know if you're up to no good. <laughs> And that dog knew I was up to good, and it just looked at me. And I said, well, I'm a dog. And I went on to the prison. And I always say if a man ain't regular in his habits, he ain't good for nothing. So I went into that privy like I do in the morning. And I got it the way I like to sit. Is you want to get it a little bit a quarter into the wind, you see. And the prevailing breeze on my property 
and it's sort of a east northeast. <laughs> so I just got it a, just a little bit of north of northeast, you see. And that outhouse, that privy, it's got a nice boxwood seat on it that I made myself. Thank you. <laughs> now that seat, I'll tell you, the boxwood, it's got a nice velvety feel. You just feel like royalty sitting on that thing and doing your morning business. But I stepped out, you know, and I came out into the yard. And I noticed right there on the ground was just a little bit of frost. Caleb? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, <laughs>